Welcome back to the Artie Land Show. Uh, my first guest tonight, one of my favorite people. I love this guy. He's a man's man. He tells it like it is. And uh, interesting guy. Uh, a hockey legend. Won a uh, title as the head coach of the Bruins back in the day. And now he's an NHL broadcaster. Welcome back to the Artie Lang Show, Don Cherry. Don, what's up, buddy? Hey, Artie boy, a legend in my own mind. <laughs> well, in mine, too. How's that sound? Yeah. Good. Well, everything's going pretty good. A uh, couple of weeks, we'll be going over to Russia. I'm not looking forward to that too much, but what are you going to do? Yeah, well, give us the details now. What are you, you, you're uh, doing some games over there, huh? Well, I, I got to go over early on the 4th, believe it or not, uh, nine days before, because Canada has a pretty good uh, women's hockey, so right. I'm not looking forward to that. Three weeks in Russia, I, I, oh. I can't think of anything worse, but what are you going to do? What? <laughs> Have you been to Russia before? Never. Yeah. Uh, well, Watch uh, out for the Black Widows. Yeah. yeah I hear they're... Thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Keep be your eyes peeled. Be careful. Head it's on well, a swivel. It's the place to be now. Are you a fan of Putin? I kind of like the guy. I tell you, he tells it like it is anyhow. He does. He takes care of those... Uh, he gets a hold of some terrorists. They're not treated with kid gloves. So You're right. I kind of like the guy. He plays hockey. I, I so he's okay by me. Yeah, he's a tough guy. You better uh, believe it. Yeah. Now, uh, let's talk a little bit about some Toronto news before we get into the hockey. What about the mayor, Rob Ford, up there? What do you think of this guy? You know, it's a funny thing. I, I knew him when he first started out. I, he phoned me, and uh, I guarantee him a win. And he he won in a landslide up here, and he talked about lower taxes. Right. And right now, believe it or not, his he his, he's not out of favor up here, uh, that with these uh, talking more about lower taxes. So mm. I don't I, I just feel so bad, you know. He's done such a good job as the mayor, but uh, I just I just don't know what's happened to the guy. He just fell apart, and he's still falling apart. Uh, two days ago, he did the same thing. He fell yeah. off the wagon. It's, yeah. a, it's a sad situation, and. Uh, I, I kind of, uh, I, I actually, I gave him the chain for the mayor, like you know, when they give him a chain up here and all right. that stuff. And, right. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, but it's a sad, sad situation. It gives us, gives Toronto a bad name, and um, he's the most famous uh, Canadian in the world right now, but for the wrong reasons. Well, Justin Bieber might be more famous. How about yeah, that kid? Yeah, we we got two good guys going. I mean, one and two. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I, you made a good point, though, Rob. You know, he's got some personal issues, and I can't judge the guy because I'd be a hypocrite. I've had the same issues. But I think if you if you uh, can uh, be honest with them eventually and attack them and get better, you'll find you get redemption. People will like you even more. And like you said, he's, he's he seems to be a good mayor. Well, you know, what happened was he was doing pretty good. He hadn't had a drink for a long time, and then he fell off the wagon. And right. somebody's got those little uh, phones that they have to take pictures and caught him, eh, uh, at a restaurant. Right. And uh, away he goes again. And, and he was doing pretty good for a couple of weeks there. But, like, he lowers the taxes. He keeps the taxes low. And, and listen, let's face it. I don't care how the guy he keeps my taxes low. That's okay by me. And uh, they evidently, a lot of people up there... Feel that well because his uh, approval rating really hasn't dropped that much. Yeah, you care about uh, the job the guy does. That's how politics should be. What do you think about this new uh, era we're in, uh, Don? Where there's hardly any privacy. Everybody's got a camera. Everybody's got a, a video camera. What do you think about this? Well, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, uh, Cosmo and Seinfeld. Uh, you remember they caught him, and I. And ever since then, I've been pretty. <laughs> I don't go out too much. <laughs> stuff it's like a good that. point. It's a good yeah, point. You have to watch it. I mean. You really do, and uh, you know if you're a so-called celebrity in that, that's all they have to do is catch you doing something, and you're you're done. And uh, I, I that's why I, when I'm when I uh, finish hockey games and that, I go right back to my hotel room. I don't go to the bars anymore. <laughs> what did you, what if they had those cameras back in in the day uh, when uh, we were I rolling pretty so. heavy? I don't think I'd be. On TV right now, <laughs> I've done in bars. Me too. I mean, if they had that, say like around 1989 to 1993, if they had those cameras like today, forget about it. I'd be loading trucks or I'd be in jail. I might be making licenses right now myself. <laughs> well, real quick, I want to let my uh, my partner, John, ask you a few questions. You're going to love him. He's a tough guy. Yeah. Uh, NFL guy. It's real qu- tough. Real quick, just, what's your Thanks. favorite Justin Bieber song, Don? <laughs> Me? Yeah. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> That's the right answer. About, he only comes from about an hour from here. He comes from Stratford, Ontario. And comes from pretty good parents and straight guy. But uh, no, I don't listen to him. He looks uh, looks looks good, I guess. He'd be easy, but yeah, no, I, <laughs> I don't know what to say about him. All right, here. Yeah. All right, here's John Ritchie. Go ahead, John. 
I uh, I understand that you're a little upset about the Olympic teams, the the players selected for the U.S. and Canada. Well, they got a guy with Chicago. Uh, they did a good job, except uh, two guys. I think they should have. St. Louis should have been in there, and uh, I, I like uh, Joe Thornton too. But the guy, the guy that don't, the only guy I'm upset really about is uh, Seabrook with Chicago. Mm-hmm. This guy has uh, more goals than Keith, who's there. He has more uh, uh, assists than uh, the Doughty, who that's going to be. And he plays with Keith. He's on the line, and he's plus 23. He's got wow. the biggest plus of any defenseman in the National Hockey League. I just That's the one that just blows my mind, and he's a leader. Remember a couple of years ago he went over and calmed down Taves, who was in the penalty box. Uh-huh. Uh, and he throws, he drops a glove. He's a leader. I just don't understand that one. That was the one they say, well, it's big ice, and he's not that good a skater. Hey, if you know what you're doing, you don't have to be Sonia Henny out there. Yeah, gotcha. yeah exactly right. Yeah, they, exactly, they they focus too much on that one thing. Yeah. What about uh, the Blackhawks? Who who do you think uh, who do you think can beat them? Well, they haven't been going to, uh, that great lately, and they've been squeezed and done. And I'm glad they're like I know Joe Quenville. I coached him, and I coached uh, Mike Kitchen, the assistant guy. So I cheer for them. And uh, Seabrook naturally, but no, uh, they, they're getting the, they're not really uh, they're not humming right now. But everybody goes through that. This is a good time to uh, be in that little slump that they're in. Everybody goes through it, so they'll mm-hmm. they'll pull it out. They they they've got too much going for them. Too much up front, Sharp and Kane and Taves and and the whole deal. And Taves would have been if it hadn't been for Crosby. He he would have been the the captain of uh, Team Canada. So do you feel like they're they're still the best team in the NHL? Uh, let me think. I, I don't. I, I would like to say that, but Pittsburgh, the way they're going right now, is uh, they, I don't think they're ever going to lose again. But the hottest team, <laughs> believe it or not, in the National Hockey League, is nine one and one is Columbus. Right. You can believe that. Yeah. But I, I don't know. Pittsburgh is going. Pittsburgh and uh, and uh, Chicago is, but they, they play that Western. Uh, boy, I, I watched Anaheim in L.A. last night. I mean, that is war. They. It's so much different than the East here. I mean, that is war out there. Those two teams, that anybody can win it with L.A., Chicago, or Anaheim, and, and San Jose's mm-hmm. in there, too. The thing is, they're going to they're gonna beat each other to death in the playoffs by the time the finals come around because it's a long war. Yeah. yeah. Are, are you, uh, you going to watch the Super Bowl this weekend? Oh, probably? yeah. I'm, Next I'm weekend, I guess. I'm a little broken-hearted. Boston's not in there, but uh, yeah. uh, I like there. I, I, I go to watch it. I don't like that Sherman guy. I mean, that was, uh, <laughs> that's what we can't. We got to watch. We don't get those guys in uh, in uh, acting like that in hockey. I mean, we got a couple yeah. of them up here. And, yeah, if a guy celebrates, like are you gonna are you gonna be upset like you were with PK uh, uh, Subban? Well, that, you know, that's that. It's almost the same thing. Yeah. And, uh, but in hockey, it's a different story. All you do is pump up the other club. You right. think so? Yeah, like, the, you know, think the, the next time Ottawa plays uh, Montreal, they're not going to be sky high. I mean, he just, uh, at Toronto, uh, Van Biesbrook, when he sc- scored that goal, he grabbed his sweater to, and mocked uh, uh, Subban. All you do in hockey is we, we just don't do that in hockey. And if that guy, Sherman, had done that to a hockey player uh, after he made that great play, he got to get drilled, which he should have been drilled. Well, what yeah. do you, what do you, as a coach, if you were Richard Sherman's coach in any sport, and they, they, you know, uh, attack uh, the camera like that and go crazy, what do you say to him as a coach? First of all, I know he's a great player, and he made a great play. I mean, the catch, you can't even name the guy that made the catch to when it come down. You're right. He is good, but I would tell you one thing: if any guy acted like that on the Boston Bruins, I wouldn't want him on the club. I sincerely mean that. <laughs> right. I would not want a guy like that on my club. Okay, good. Wow. I mean, would you give him, like, one warning, or that would be it? Oh, no, you try to work with the guy. I mean, that's the name of a, a coach. Anybody can wind some guys up and go out there. I mean, this guy's a great guy. You work with him as hard as you can. Right. And then, then you go right down the line. But, I mean, I mean, that's, to me, and that's, you're asking me my question, that's a disgrace to almost the football, as far as I'm concerned. And the poor girl on the side, all he did was ask him a question. He does stuff like yeah. that to me. And now the funny thing is, he's a hero. Somehow or other, I see all the state down the states, I see all the report. Well, he's a wonderful, nice boy, and he's a nice guy, <laughs> and he's very articulate and all that. Somehow he's come out of this like a hero. 
Yeah, He's not what, a hero to me and a lot of coaches, I'll tell you that. What do you say to the the writers who would like hockey players to be more de- demonstrative well, on the ice? Well, you know what I call them? And I call them on hockey, I, on, I call them dumbheads <laughs> that have never been in the sport, have never played the sport. How would they know how, how hockey, other hockey players think? Uh-huh. I called them right in. In fact, McLean asked me that, and I said they're a bunch of dumbheads. There you go. Well, that's right to the point. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, listen. This uh, affects you. The State Department is telling uh, Americans not to wear any flashy clothes at the Olympics. What are you going to do? I'm going to be uh, like I'm in deep trouble, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing. They're not going to be very flashy when I'm off TV, I'll tell you. But, uh, no, and all the hockey players here are leaving their uh, families home. They're not bringing them over there. Well, that's a good idea. It's, yeah. it's, a, sh- it's a shame the world's come to that, isn't it, Don? That we've got to be afraid to take your family to yeah. the Olympics. Yeah, and I think that's the way it's going to be forever now But in Russia, you know. But I don't know. That Putin seems to be doing a pretty good job with everything. I think he'll, he'll get it straightened out there. You, you can't be worried. You just got to go over and do your job. But I'll tell you one thing. I'm not going to be fly, very flashy, like I said, walking around. <laughs> what kind of warm clothes? What do you do to battle that kind of cold? Well, I don't think it's cold over there. Somebody told me it was like in the warm part of, uh, of uh, Russia, like it's a... Uh, Tropical, almost tropical over there. <laughs> tropical, the or something. I don't know. I don't know much about it, but they say, and they got to go up to, uh, up the top to get the snow in that. So right. they say it's not too cold. Do you have a particular uh, designer or tailor or guy, a stylist that helps you pick out those clothes, your signature clothing? Yeah, I get it up. Believe it or not, I get those things, and I hate this is a, a sad thing to say. I get it at a place called Fabricland, right? And they make drapes. That there is a lot of those. <laughs> How does the goodness? Uh, and where else would you get those clothes? And then I go to a, I pay. By the way, I go to a place called a Coop and uh, Young Street up here in Toronto, and I pay for everything. I pay for my shirts. I pay for everything. I don't get anything free I, because, as you guys know, and you get no free lunches in this world. Yeah. You're right. No, Young Street, Toronto. I uh, I've been there uh, a lot of times. It's a fun city. Uh, would you vote for Rob Ford again? Yeah, I would. He's a fan. You know, I would. I mean, I, I can't be a turncoat now. I just hope he straightens out. I'm going to, we've given him about 50 chances. But You're right. Every day, the thing is that he's supposed to be, he's supposed to be in training and, 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 you know, and he's losing weight and the whole thing. And he fell off the wagon, but it is, it, it is, it's him and Bieber or whatever his name. It's a sad situation. The most famous Canadians and they're both cuckoos <laughs> hey uh and what about back to hockey uh, any team in the nhl disappoint you this year like what one stand out well, i'm a... watching right now and and uh i was watching right now edmonton oilers they have the best fans in the world they really do they never boo and their team is getting hammered again tonight uh yeah i feel so sorry for him i thought they they turned the corner a little and uh they're not, and and believe me, you never seen fans like these guys. You know how in the last minute, and so when the team's getting beat, they say they're the last minute of the period, and everybody claps as if the, you know, glad it's over with. These fans never boo the power play. Good, and they're the best in the world. That I, I don't know, maybe they're freezing up there. I don't know, but I, I, I that's the team that's disappointed me this year. Who's uh, real quick before we let you go? I'm just curious. I don't think I ever asked you this question before. Who do you think is? In your opinion, Don Cherry's opinion is the best uh, hockey player of all time. All time. All time. Well, come on, Bobby Orr. There's no, there's no doubt about it. More than Gretzky. Well, Wayne. Listen, Wayne Gretzky's great. Now, don't get me wrong. He, you don't get me in trouble. You ask me who the best. I hear you. He has 61 records right now in the game. He has, but Bobby Orr was a defenseman, and Bobby Orr changed the game the way it's played. Right. He, he was. Uh, the last year he played for me, believe this or not, come to the people out there that know hockey real well, this is a defenseman. He won the scoring title twice. He won eight uh, Norris uh, trophies, the best defenseman, always an all-star, two hearts, and the whole deal. But listen to the last year he played for me. Now, now he's a defenseman. Now think of this. He had 46 goals, 89 assists, <laughs> and was plus 128. Now wow. put that in perspective. Jeez. The guy that won the Norris last year I think had 11 and I think he was plus 40. <laughs> well, that tells you who's the greatest hockey player who ever lived. And, you know, I love it when Bobby Clark said, he's so good there should have been another league for him to play in. <laughs> have uh, you seen the documentary on HBO, the Broad Street Billies about the Flyers, Bullies about the Flyers in the 70s? 
Yeah, I know. I, they were the Broad Street Bullies, but they didn't say anything about the Big Bad Bruins. You're right. And, and Dave the Hammer Schultz. That's what I wanted to ask you about, yeah. Yeah, and he, he said going into the gardens he couldn't sleep the night before. Yeah. I mean, we had five guys. They were bullies. We weren't bullies. We had, and the five guys we had that were our tough guys got 20 or more goals. We, 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 we didn't just go out there and fight. So, yeah, I saw it. It's pretty good. Yeah, no, but I, that's why I wanted to ask you. They sort of ignored your Bruins. It's ridiculous. Well, you know, that's uh, because we, we scored, they scored a lot of goals. Our toughest guy won the scoring title. And that, I never liked it. There's no way in the world you should have guys sit on the bench and only play four or five minutes and go out there like mad dogs and fight. The guys that play should be tough, and they should be able to play. That's hockey. To have guys sit on the bench and then sick them out there, to me, that's not hockey. And I... I I'd say that to anybody. I like the Broad Street Bullies. They won two Stanley Cups doing it their way. But when we come along, we were tougher. Good point. Hey, Don, uh, who wins Olympic gold? What team wins Olympic gold? Oh, we're going to win it. Canada's going to win it. And uh, <laughs> mark my words on that. We're, we're pretty good. And, uh-huh. and we'll be there. Mary, I, well, you fold me back if we don't, okay? And I'll, I'll <laughs> you fold me back we win, okay? You absolutely. Got you got, we, we love to talk to you anytime, Don. You're the best. Uh, we appreciate it. Listen, be careful over there in Russia. Well, I hope I'll be back there. I hope I can talk to you when I come back. Yes, be <laughs> careful. Right. See you later, guys. Stay Take warm. Care. The great Don Hello. Cherry. He's Hi. going over to Russia. Uh, anybody's going to represent North America, it's that man. Yeah. It's that Better man. I believe it. Vladimir Putin, Schmutin. Vladimir uh, Gluten, Schmutin, Tutin. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that's a good guy. Always a fun. Uh, Always a funny. Doesn't uh, doesn't know one Justin Bieber song? Come on. You got to know one if you're Canadian. I don't know one. Do you know a Justin Bieber Yeah, song? that one, Baby, right? Oh, Baby. Right? Is that what it's called? How's it go, Don? Uh, John? You know, the one, Baby, 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 all oh, that, that, that one. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on audience, only on DirecTV.